What would happen if the internet stopped working globally? It will be like the 80s again. I thought this was a party! Let's dance! Well, maybe not quite like that. Since so many things rely on the internet these days, a global shutdown would have both social and technological consequences. You wouldn't be able to scroll through Instagram, for instance. But would you be able to withdraw money from the ATMs? Ah oh yes, the finance sector. If there were to be a global internet shutdown, one of the things to be disrupted first would be the finance sector. Thinking about going to the bank to withdraw money is the least of our problems. Would we actually be able to withdraw money or see how much money we have left in the bank? ATMs will definitely work because the first ATM is from the 60s. The speed will probably drop significantly due to the nature of the alternative routes that will be used uh, in case of uh, internet loss. These devices are not built for load, high load. The systems we use currently are designed for an average load. The system load will uh, definitely drop the speed of uh, response and uh, they will not be able to work as fast as we are used to. And such high load will be probably halting the service and uh, will cause hiccups and even it will bring it down. Since so many businesses control everything through online systems, the shipment of fuel, deliveries of goods, manufacturing, medicine, everything would stall. One of the scary and long-term scenarios out of these disruptions would be the potential for social unrest triggered by hungry, angry and confused rioters. Would you have water or heat? Nowadays, water filter facilities and power grids are all coordinated by the internet. Gas pipelines need both power and the internet to function. After talking to some experts who didn't want to appear in our video, I found out that even though those systems are mostly tied to the internet, there is a manual switch button which could be used in case of a system breakdown. At least this is the case for Turkey. Let's say you manage to book your flight without the internet. Would your airplane be able to take off? Since the aviation industry was created much earlier than the internet, it turns out that its dependency is limited. Internet is a means of communication. And airplanes does not need that much communication. Uh, even uh, if you remember the Malaysian Airlines accident, they lost the airplane on the radar, they lost the airplane communication, but the airplane engine still gave data to the manufacturer. They use it for the ticketing and maybe refueling or catering, bringing in the food and so on. But flying of the airplanes does not depend on internet. Even though everything seems to be organized by the internet these days, it seems like a disruption would have more social impacts than technological ones. And actually intentional blackouts and slowdowns occur more than we are aware of. Governments are able to shut down or limit the internet in emergencies. For instance, in 2011, during the Arab Spring, the Egyptian government shut down the internet for a week. In 2018, in order to prevent students cheating during exams, Algeria blocked the internet for up to three hours at a time for a whole week. Oh, and again one time in Egypt, three men tried to cut internet cables under the ocean and were arrested for it. But the cable disruptions in the Mediterranean and the Middle East back in 2008 had more serious consequences for internet users. 60% of India's internet suffered disruption and 70% in Egypt. See, many examples that you might not have known about, but all regional. The internet is designed to keep functioning even under the most extreme circumstances. But can a global blackout really happen? In my humble opinion, I don't believe the internet can go down for a very long time because of the nature of this network. Uh, it was designed as a military network uh, to be used in 
uh, the Cold War times. And uh, by design, uh, it is decentralized. Such uh, networks cannot be uh, controlled by a single party or a company or, a, or an institution. So a decentralized network cannot fall, but uh, there, there might be certain limitations in case of uh, connectivity issues. 